This is a very special animal, the goat. Normally, railroads use herbicides and they spray chemicals on the rail yard. And we did not want to do that. So we looked for an alternative. And we decided goats would be a good alternative to herbicides. City Grazing is a company that has a herd of about 60 goats. And those goats are used primarily to manage this property here and maintain the vegetation. Uh, and also we rent out the goats when we can have them go out to other places and graze other properties and manage their vegetation in an environmental way like we do here. I'm the guy that do all the goat work around here. So when you see me, this is the goat herder, otherwise a lot of people that say the goat whisperer because they said I talked to the goat and the location and they answered, they understand. The advantages of goats over things like using herbicides or power mowers and the like are one, you know, the goats have a, a, just a natural way of eating down the vegetation without the use of chemicals. They have a natural way of re-fertilizing. Oftentimes, if you're using chemicals or herbicides, you're going to either alter or possibly destroy that um, chemistry of the soil. Um, a natural fertilizer like goat dung does not have that same impact on the soil. They are very friendly. They work in pack, and wherever one goes, the others follow. And in a herd of goats, you always have a leader, and you have somebody else who's gonna take his place, a second leader. So whenever they're herding, they, whenever they, they, they're grazing, or they, they be at some, and the leader decided to say, we're gonna stay here. He just stay in this area, and everybody gonna stay in that area. If he decided he lay down, Everybody gonna just wander around a little bit, but they're gonna lay down there. They know that here, this, is our, this is our era. We get a lot of calls from just residential homeowners here in San Francisco who have a backyard that's overgrown. And then we go out and uh, on the day of the uh, delivery, we'll take the goats out, walk them into the backyard, let them loose there. That's it, they're there for a week. We come back, all the vegetation is down to the nub, and we load the goats back up on the uh, truck and take them home. They're focused on eating. They are eating machines. You know, you put a goat out in a backyard and they are just, boom, they dart to the first thing that they like the most. I think one of the myths about goats is that they'll eat everything. They'll eat garbage, they'll eat everything. And as we have found out, goats actually have their own structure of how they eat. They eat their preferred uh, vegetation first. They love blackberry, they love poison oak. They love uh, fennel. That's kind of what they'll eat first. Then they'll work their way down in, in a chain of preference. They don't eat nothing that harmful to them. They know when the herbs is not right. If a chemical is on the herbs, you know, they're not gonna eat it. Having goats here really takes the edge off the urban environment goat happy around anywhere there are green vegetation. Goat always happy because their main interest is to eat. So as long as there is vegetation around the city, he's gonna be happy there.